live from the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. Welcome back to the program, everyone. Well, we all realize that one of the biggest sports in central Iowa as of late has been hockey. And we're going to talk about some youngsters that are involved with playing hockey. They have a very unique opportunity coming up next week. Travis Hamilton is joining us right now. He's head coach of the Des Moines Junior Buccaneers. How are you doing, my friend? I'm good. All right, tell us about the Des Moines Junior Buccaneers. Uh, what are they? So the Junior Buccaneers are a uh, organization, a Des Moines Youth Hockey Organization here in Central Iowa. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm proud to be a part of that currently. And it's a ever growing thing. The hockey is just continuing to grow here in uh, Des Moines. And uh, just a lot of opportunities for kids here. So how old are the players? Uh, the players that I'm coaching currently are 11 and 12, and then I have another team that's 13 and 14. Okay, and we mentioned how popular hockey is, and what's the reason for the, the resurgence of hockey being so popular in Iowa? Well, you think about it, we have the Des Moines Buccaneers here in town, Junior A Hockey. Uh, we have uh, a new ice arena, mid Midwest, or uh, New ice. The, the, the Recplex. Yes. Uh, then uh, the Buccaneers Arena, and then we also have the Iowa Wild. And, uh, you know, all of those organizations working together, uh, especially with the Iowa Wild and Crash Course, getting kids started in hockey, I think those are all contributing factors. And then, and then the direct link from the Iowa Wild to the NHL, uh, sure. which is great. And, and kids really look up to that, don't they? Absolutely. Okay. Now, you have something going on next week that is going to be very cool for the youngsters because you finished your regular season, what, just a couple days ago? Uh, yep, yesterday. Yesterday? Okay. And uh, how do we do overall? Do we do okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah. My, my particular team we won a few tournaments uh, over the course of the year uh, had a second and had a third place we, we finished in third place uh, yesterday with a, a hard-fought victory over Omaha in Omaha which right. is always a, a See, great when Des Moines beats Omaha that's always a good thing great way to end the season <laughs> great way and here you have some uh, video from this past weekend too uh, which is really cool and and the kids really get into this don't they absolutely Kids and parents alike. Oh, the parents too, yeah. <laughs> in, in the crowd, just going crazy. Now, the thing that's really neat, too, is uh, when the Olympics roll around, and the United States has been so strong in hockey for many, many years, and you're going to give the kids an opportunity to do something and skate and play on a very famous sheet of ice. Yep, yep. Next week, we are both of the teams that I'm coaching are uh, – taking off and we're going to Lake Placid, New York. Okay. And uh, the kids will have an opportunity to play hockey at the Olympic Center uh, on the 1980 rink uh, where the miracle happened. Okay. Do you believe in miracles for those people <laughs> that don't know what we're talking about, right? Absolutely. Okay. Just watched uh, Miracle last night. So. <laughs> Just getting you all pumped up. Yep, yeah. absolutely. But what do, what do the kids think? Do, do they know the history of it? Do they do they watch the movie, for example? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, these, these kids, uh, none, none of these kids were alive when the miracle actually happened, uh, but they all know every, every bit and piece of it. They watch the movies. They know what it's like to be there. I did it. A questionnaire of all my players uh, just to kind of get a feel for it and the vast majority of them all said that their, their main uh, thing that they're excited about going to Lake Placid is to play on the ice where the miracle happened. Okay and uh, the, the miracle happened and also uh, the Olympics were in Lake Placid before right? Correct in 1932. Okay so this this really does have histor uh, historic significance. Then, yep and there's so much uh, so many opportunities to uh, history historical sites to visit around there because not just hockey was there the Olympics were there. Right. So so the ski jumps, the bobsledding, you know, all of that stuff that goes with the Winter Olympics, that's it's going to be a great opportunity. Yeah, so this this recharges them, even though the season, the regular season is over, this is going to recharge them again. Are the kids going to have an opportunity to play in a, in a game or a tournament next week? Uh, yep, it's a full-fledged full tournament. Yep, tournament. I haven't got the schedule yet, so I don't know where the teams are from that we're playing, but we're going out there with the hopes of bringing home a gold medal. Okay, and how many different kids are going to be able to go out to Lake Placid from right here in Central Iowa? But between the two teams, I've got 32 kids. 32, and uh, and how many parents go along with that too? Buddy? Uh, the last count over everybody going is about 110 people. Wow, and that is so special for them too, isn't it? Yep, absolutely. Yeah, and this is what a great organization this is. And you had some people that want to make sure you said you wanted to thank some people for helping the organization continue on. Who will be thanking here? For sure, some of my sponsors are Tompkins Industries. Uh, my best buddy Jeremy Swanson runs that. Uh, Slapshot uh, Hockey Shop, American Health Filtration. Waukee Wellness, uh, Westbrook Construction, 
uh, Shark Laceris over at uh, Remax Hilltop. Uh, and then, it, you know, there's a lot of other people and we're still accepting funds at the GoFundMe uh, account there. And that'll be, any funds that we get on there will be used for team building experiences. Okay, that is so cool. Great, man. Thank you for taking the kids there and good luck. Thanks for in, having us. In the tournament next week and we'll see you tomorrow on Iowa Live.